Hello friends, this video on cell cycle and cell division part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we will now talk about the next type of cell division that is meiosis. Now some of the people pronounce it as meiosis or meiosis whatever you call it. Now there might be some questions in your mind when you think of sexual reproduction. What do we need for sexual reproduction? We need the sex cells, that is the gametes. So gametes are required for sexual reproduction, we all know that. We also know that gametes are haploid cells, that is they have just one set of chromosomes. Now the question is, when we talked about mitosis, we said that mitosis occurs in all the diploid somatic cells of animals. But animals have haploid sex cells. So from where do these sex cells come? So how are these gametes formed? Now gametes are formed from diploid cells. How? Because gametes are diploid and we know all other body cells are diploid. So if gametes are formed from some other cell, that means it is formed from diploid cell. Now the question is how is haploid cells formed from diploid cells? So that is a question because mitosis doesn't ensure that conversion. So for that meiosis came into picture. So what is meiosis? It is a specialized type of cell division which reduces the chromosome number by half. So if before division the chromosome number was 2n, so after division it becomes n. So that means diploid cells can get converted into haploid cells. So this is the main difference between mitosis and meiosis. In mitosis, the chromosome number is conserved. That is, if the chromosome number was 2n, it will be 2n. But here it becomes half. So here the parent cell is diploid, whereas the daughter cells are haploid. And this is how the female, or male and female gametes are produced in animals. So if you have a parent cell which is diploid, it forms four daughter cells which are all haploid. So these are all haploid but this is diploid. So there are two differences. In mitosis, the cell, daughter cells were all diploid. Here the daughter cells are haploid. There two daughter cells were formed from one parent cell and here four daughter cells are formed from one parent cell. So these are some of the differences between meiosis and mitosis. It occurs during gametogenesis in plant and animal cells. What is gametogenesis? The process of formation of gametes. Gametes are nothing but the sex cells. So when we talk about sex cells in human beings, we are talking about the sperm, which is the male sex cell, and the ovum, which is the female sex cell. Let us look at some of the important features of meiosis. Pairing and recombination of homologous chromosomes. Now, in case of mitosis, what was the basic concept? Replicate and divide. So, copying of DNA and then dividing the DNA into daughter cells. Here, the key concept is pairing and recombination. So, what do we mean by pairing and recombination? So, here first what will happen? Now, since here you have two separate gametes. So, the uh, male, will, male uh, uh, sex cell will contribute something, female sex cell will contribute something and then pairing between the two will happen and recombination. That means sharing. Some part of the male will get exchanged with the female, some part of the female will get exchanged with the male. So, that means recombination will happen. Now we will understand this pairing and recombination in even more detail. So what happens is, let us suppose this is your parent cell. Now this has chromosomes like this. Let us suppose this chromosome is obtained from the father and this chromosome is obtained from the mother. So what happens? This will finally give rise to four haploid cells. So four haploid daughter cells will be formed as a result of meiosis. Now, when you look at the daughter cells, you will see they are somewhat like this. 
so if you look at it you see that they are all like mixed none of them purely resembles the father none of them purely resembles the mother so if you see in all of them one of the cell one of the chromosome is like the father or the mother that is it is either white or it is red so this is your white and this is these are your reds but here if you see recombination has occurred so in one chromosome you have both the traits that is the mixture of the traits and that is why none of the daughter cells is exact copy of parent cell this is very very important here now just to take an example of human beings now take example of each one of us people often say that you look very much similar to your dad or i look very much similar to my mom so we get such comments and we often see such similarities but that doesn't mean that we look exactly similar to our parents however that happens in only certain exceptional cases but otherwise there are some other other differences i mean you can very easily distinguish between a father and a son even though there are few similarities that is because that son has some traits of his father some traits of his mother and some new traits which has come as a result of recombination because the traits have got combined from both the parents and he has altogether got a new trait so that is why none of the daughter cells produced in case of meiosis is exactly similar to the parent cell so that is why we say pairing and recombination so here also pairing is taking place they are pairing up together the chromosomes are pairing up but recombination so the traits are getting combined now very similar to mitosis meiosis is also divided into several stages so what are those different stages now broadly meiosis is divided into two cycles that is meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 Now, why do we have two cycles in meiosis? Because in meiosis, the chromosome number gets reduced. So you start with a diploid cell; it gives four haploid. So in the first cycle of meiosis, it will give two haploid cells, and in the second cycle of meiosis, it will again those two will give rise to four haploid cells. So the final will be four haploid cells. So that means it is divided into two phases that is meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Now each of these meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 will have the subsequent stages within them. So when you talk about the cell cycle that is the life cycle of a cell. So from where does the meiosis starts? meiosis starts exactly after the synthesis phase so first will be the first gap phase this will be there synthesis phase will also be there when the dna will replicate it or um, when the dna will duplicate itself and after this s phase what will happen it will not enter into g2 phase it will not get into the gap 2 phase instead it will get into meiosis 1 so the first meiosis stage after this it will get into meiosis 2 that is the second phase of meiosis now as a result of meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 what will be the result what will be formed haploid cells will be formed as i said four haploid daughter cells will be formed so haploid cells are formed now what will these haploid cells do most of these haploid cells are basically the gametes the male and female gametes so they will undergo fertilization right the male gamete and the female gamete will fertilize or fuse together to form a zygote which is again diploid so after fertilization this will again form diploid cells and then what will happen to these diploid cells these diploid cells will again get into g1 that means the diploid cells once they are formed 
they are like any other somatic cells of the body. So these diploid cells will uh, undergo the metabolic processes, they, they, they will grow, they will become mature. So they are basically in the G1 phase, gap 1 phase. After that again the synthesis phase will come and then now they are diploid cells. Therefore after the, this synthesis phase they can either go to mitotic cycle through the process of mitosis or they can go through meiosis. So that is their choice. So meiosis, mito, mitosis and meiosis, they are related to each other because meiosis forms uh, the uh, haploid cells which fertilize later to form diploid cells. And the diploid cells again undergo multiple division to form more and more diploid cells. So that is how mitosis and meiosis are related but they both do not fall in the same cycle. So meiosis is like after the S phase after S phase, either it will go through G2 and then mitotic phase or it will go directly to meiosis phase. So I hope this is clear that where exactly in the life cycle of a cell my mitosis and meiosis fits in. So now we will see what are the different stages involved in each of these cycles. So let us talk about meiosis 1. Meiosis 1 will have four stages again. The name of the stages are very similar to what we have studied in mitosis. So it will have prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1 and telophase 1. So these are the four stages of meiosis 1. Similarly, meiosis 2 will again have steps like prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2 and telophase 2. So what we are going to do is we are going to talk about each of these steps in detail and we'll see how the entire process of cell division or meiosis will take place. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.